So back before I started my business about a year and a half ago, I was obsessed with the idea of doing rinseless washes. I don't know if it was just a different way to wash a vehicle that seemed exciting, or if it came from laziness because I didn't want to go through the actual full wash process in the summertime. Psst, it was laziness. Anyways, I went through Optima No Rinse, the Keys N914, which is just a straight up cleaner, but I stumbled upon uh, one of my favorite products ever still, and it's a rinseless wash, but that's not usually what I use it for. All right, so you want the secret sauce? All right. Well, I'm gonna give you the secret sauce. Keys SiO2 rinseless wash. This stuff is the business. Let me tell you, it's the business. Now, use this the same way you would Optima No Rinse. On the back here, it says that you're gonna use an ounce for every three gallons. <clears throat> I use it about that. I'm not really too crazy particular about how much I put in uh, the bottle, but I'm using about that, if not just a little bit higher. But as a detail spray in a 32 ounce bottle, I'm putting about an ounce to an ounce and a half. That's what I like to use. But for the sake of this, this video, I'm gonna put a half ounce is what I'm gonna do. Cause I'm not gonna try to go too over the top on how much I put in here to skew the results. I'm gonna give you a real demonstration of what it would be if you use pretty close to what they're saying you should use as a detail spray. So as usual, I'm gonna use my trusty trailer here. I'm gonna use the front. I already stripped off the snake oil that I had on from the last video. It's ready to go. It's been panel prepped. It's everything that's ready. I'm gonna show you half and half with nothing on there, the water behavior, and on the other side as well with the uh, rinseless wash. So let's go check it out. All right, so here we got our IK sprayer. Uh, we got a half an ounce of McKee's SiO2 rinseless wash in here as a detail spray. You can go up to about an ounce, but this is gonna be a half ounce. So right now I'm gonna show you the current water behavior of this trailer. If you watched my last video, this trailer was uh, coated with, um, I used uh, snake oil, right? Snake oil on here. So this is just to show you. I took snake oil off of here. I'm not getting any beating or anything like that. So now you know that I'm telling you the truth that there is gonna be nothing left on this panel. So let's get ahead and take care of drying this off and then I'm gonna spray this on and show you what it does. All right, so left side here, my left, is going to be the side that I put the product on. Right side is going to be control, meaning there's nothing on here. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and spray this down, wipe it down, and then I'm gonna show you the difference in water behavior on both sides. Spray one or two on here. Just gonna mist it on the panel, kind of like you would with a bead maker or something else like that. And as this is flashing off, I'm feeling a lot of slickness. I'm feeling very slick. Oh yeah. So I'm just holding this with one finger and it's just sliding like crazy. Yeah. And to the touch, it's very slick. This side here is a lot more grabby. Let's go ahead and check out <clears throat> the water behavior, the difference in water behavior. I'm gonna bring you in a little closer and show you uh, what that looks like. One thing I will say is this, if you take this detail spray and you put one ounce to a one and a half ounces, even two ounces in a 32 ounce bottle, you are gonna get enhanced slickness and water beating behavior. So if I was to turn this up to twice as much, I would get uh, a lot better beating. But as you can see, it is beating over here a lot better than over here. This still is trying to get rid of some water. This is a vertical panel trying to get rid of some water. This right here is beating very well. So let's go ahead and check it with a leaf blower. Not bad, not all the water came off, but as you can see compared to this control panel, way better. All right, so there you have it. Quick video just to give you 
a little uh, insight on some tricks that I found on a product that I think is very cool. It's very easy to get, it's on Amazon. This is a 32 ounce, right? So you could get 32, 32 ounce bottles with this of detail spray for $40. So it is a little pricey for the product. If you were to use this just as rinseless washes all the time, this is kind of pricey, but used as a detail spray, used as just something you use to touch up, just something that you use on top of these vehicles that you're doing when you're finished with them for your customers or for yourself, just like a last quick topper, this is where it's at. This also plays very well with actual ceramic coatings. I've used this on top of G-Technic, Crystal Serum Light. That's the main product that I use for my ceramic coatings. If you follow my channel, you know that. And this works very well. It does not streak in my experience, which is a big thing because as a mobile detailer, I'm in the sun all the time. I can't have streaking. It's just not, it's just not gonna happen for me. That's just not something that I can accept. If you guys are interested, I will make a video on this as an actual rinseless wash. Maybe I'll show a how-to rinseless wash. I've had people ask for that before, um, but it's just nice to know that after you rinseless wash with this, the vehicle is so slick. Your towel is gonna fall right off. So you're rinseless washing and protecting all in one. It's pretty awesome. Thank you guys for sticking around for another video. Like I said, this is a quick one. I just wanted to get one out for you for little tips and tricks, little off-label uses for some other products. I'll keep doing stuff like that if you guys want. I am still gonna do the video on Technician's Choice uh, Ceramic Detail Spray. I'm looking to get a test panel to do that on so I can uh, start giving really good side-by-sides for products like this. But either way, the next video is probably gonna be uh, the Technician's Choice Ceramic Detail Spray. I know some of you guys are excited to hear my thoughts on that. Uh, just a little insight. Uh, my feelings have changed. So I'll just leave you with that. Thank you guys for coming back to another video and for sticking around. Thank you to all the Stay Slick fam. Thank you guys, you're amazing. Appreciate you guys as always. Like I said, I'm gonna try to get back to get more videos out, but business has been really good. Business has been very good, so I've been busy. So I apologize. Thank you for sticking around. See you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out. Stay slick.